I'm going to show you how to export individual tracks, individual stems from a recording you've done on Tracked. Here's my song A Precious Gift and I've got three tracks on this. This is the mixing one. I've got guitar and vocals on this track. Here I've got slide guitar. And here I've got some drums played on the box. And it comes in here. So this is like a, a general mix. The thing I like about Tract is that uh, it makes you focus on the recording process because there's hardly any editing facility at all. But now I want to export it so I can go into my usual mixing software and then do the editing there and I've got a lot more possibilities there to master etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do each individual track. This track here has got the drums which are played on a box so I'm going to put that all the way to the top and take these down. So all the individual tracks are down and the master's up full and track two is up full with the drums. Now I'm going to export it as a video, make a video. It's creating a mix it's saying and then it'll start creating video and then I will jump to the next process. So this track here I'm going to do the same, export it as a video. I'm doing the last track now, the third track, with the slide guitar. Tap the screen so I can show you. At the top it's got the bar all the way almost to the right and then you get the message here at the bottom the green that it's been saved to your camera roll. Now we're going to have a look at the camera roll. So go out of this and we go to the camera roll which is here in my case here camera roll you'll see the last three things are the exported tracks as videos so now I'm going to put these onto my laptop in the usual way so you'll all have a different way possibly to do that and I'll jump to um, the point where I've got it on my laptop to show you there. So I've got my video files on my laptop and I'm just going to assume that you know how to do this and now I'm going to show you two ways to convert the video files to audio which is what you need to do to be able to mix it. So the first one is there are many ways to do this but I'm just going to show you two obvious ones. This is uh, Movie Maker Pro and it has an option here when you start it up Extract Audio. So I'm going to click on that and here are my three video files which I've put there earlier. You can arrange it any way you like but this is the folder I've put them in. I've already got this one on so I'm going to do the second one which is the box sound I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter which it is. A precious gift you can see there. And then it says here, extract audio. And then it asks you to put a name. So I'm going to put box on. And then save. And it goes through the process and then it creates an mp3 file. I prefer to work with WAV files. Right, this is done. Um, so I'm going to show you the second way that I like to use and that's I like to use Mixcraft. I'm just opening the program right now. This is Mixcraft 8 and that's the 
program I use to actually do my mixing. I really like Mixcraft. It's very simple, very easy to use, and actually really quite powerful. And I get great, great results with it. So, this is starting up. I'm waiting for it. Right, here we have it. I'm going to start a new project. Click. And I'm going to import a video file. Add video file, it says there. And I'm going to go to the file, the folder where I put my video files here. I'm going to do the first one here. Click on it. Open. And it's going to open it into this track specifically for video. Takes a minute or so. It's working on it there, you can see. Right, now I've got the video here and I've got the audio there. And I just need the audio. So this is where I'm going to show it in such a way I can see the whole file. Right, this is how it works. I make it small. So I've taken out the video, made it all the way, go all the way to the end, and then I can just work with the audio. Then I'm going to do the same with the second one. And it goes into the same video track. I'm going to have to move it. I'm doing this with one hand, a little bit awkward. And again, I'm going to make the video small so it goes all the way there so I can do the third track the same way. So now I've got two tracks already that I can work on the audio. And now I'm going to show you just very quickly what I did with the mix. So jumping to the next window. So I've done a mix with the three tracks that I imported. Track 1, track 2, track 3. Track 1 was guitar and vocal, track 2 drums, and track 3 slide guitar. So then here you can clean it up first of all. You kind of take away the bit that you don't want to use so you don't get any noises. Uh, this is the drums so I'm just uh, having the, the, the rest I've taken out so it doesn't create a noise in between the bits that I'm playing and the same with the slide and I've actually taken a couple of bits of slide out that I thought were not necessary and we're not adding to the story. Then you can add effects so on here I've got various things I've got tape emulator acoustic reverb which is not actually used in the end I decided to keep it dry harmonic vitalizer uh, equalization and compressor and then I've done a little bit of a sound editing on all of them and then my favorite one on the final step is broadcast multiband compressor which I always put on first of all and then uh, you know, I get a good sound from the start. It gives me a good idea of what it's going to sound like. So you change, you close the video window. Is still trying to show you the video, which is not there actually. So I've got the three tracks individually editable. So I really like this way of working. You use Tracked to do the recording, get the feel right, focus on the playing, and then afterwards it's a different process. You fly into your laptop, you open your favorite editing program, and then you get your editing head on, and your producer head, and you work on a final version which you like. And uh, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to put in the comments below in the in the information uh, of this video I'll put a link to the original tracked recording which is completely unedited as I recorded it in tracked and then also the finished version in the video which is this mix that I worked on here in Mixcraft and then uh, please feel free to in the comments to let me know which one you prefer actually because uh, I'm not actually totally I've been using this about a month or so tracked I love the process and I'm not totally sure yet whether it's better to keep it all in tracked and warts and all and really honest and raw or whether it's good to clean it up and to do a little bit of a production on it and then uh, here you can see that I've still got the video bits that I wiped all the way to the right they're still there but they're not actually affecting my mix because my song ends here so that last bit is not going to do anything at all to the audio of the three tracks right well I hope you enjoyed this I hope you found it useful and uh, yes feel free to comment I'd love to get your ideas and your uh, views on what I've been doing and maybe you've found different ways to do it better and also which one you prefer actually the uh, the raw recording totally in tracked or the um, which is on my track profile or the mix which I've done here in Mixcraft thank you for viewing <laughs>